So here is my rendition of Kieran Ascom's SAM X4 project. And what I did was rearrange the components so that they're all on one side. Uh, got rid of the through holes on the sides here for uh, pin headers for a socket connection and made it surface mount um, so that it frees up some space on this side uh, for routing. Put an SMD connector footprint on the bottom. So the signals are actually in the schematic inverted, but they cancel out and work out to be the same. And so in theory, you can go out and buy an SMD 40 pin uh, socket and you can solder it to this and you can go do that. However, um, I'm going to show you uh, how to do it uh, in a more, you know, inexpensive way because those sockets are kind of expensive. They range from eight to $20. And so I wanted to do it um, in a cheaper way with actually turns out a smaller footprint. And so in this video, what we're going to do, or for the rest of this video, is we're going to take <clears throat> these machine pin headers and we're going to solder them to this. And I'll go over those steps and it's much easier than what it, what, what it looks like. You know, you'll, see how, you'll see how easy it actually is. And so what you're going to need are machine pin headers broken out to 20 pins each one. You're going to need one of these cheap, um, whatever leaf IC sockets for 40 pins. Okay. And basically we're going to use this to size them, to separate the two and as you know, a structure to keep it together as we solder it onto the back or the bottom rather of the Samex four, uh, this version of it, the shrunk down version. And so um, the first thing you have to do is actually snip these off here. And you want to snip them. Take your favorite pair of diagonal cutters, right? And you want to snip them, you know, right to where, um, you know, that cylinder base is left almost flat. It's not going to be perfectly flat unless you sand it down. And it doesn't need to be. And I'll go over that now. So here we go. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is take these pin headers, these machine pin headers, and you want to insert them into the socket that you have and, you know, make sure it's nice and even in there. Okay. You see now, uh, they're spaced correctly. All right, next you want to take the Samex 4 board and take advantage of these pins that are in there. By the way, I didn't solder anything on here. Uh, so far, the only thing uh, I've done to this is peel it out of the tape it came in. Uh, this was all assembled uh, with JLC PCB. Even, even these uh, headers here, even though I didn't want them to do it, they went ahead and did it anyways. So anyways, let's take advantage of those because you can plug these into the, to this board right here. So we can just pick more or less. Okay. And you know, it's stable enough for soldering. Next, take this, right? And just place it on there. Now, so what you're gonna have to do here is take a look at what you're doing and place it on there and center it as best you can. I'm going to go ahead and center this off camera because it's very difficult to do while uh, filming. All right, so I've gone ahead and centered uh, the socket as best I can on there, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, what's cool about using this technique is that the distance relative to each other, or rather the distance relative to the pin headers won't change because the socket is fixed. So even if it's a little askew, even if it's a lot askew, uh, it'll still fit into the socket. So once you have it where you want it, 
Carefully try to dab some solder by heating up the pad. Now again, this is hard to do while filming. So you heat up the pad, right? Enough to where the solder gets melts on it and it wets well. So you do, I like to do the four corners. Okay. And so there, that's immobilized there. So I'm gonna go to the other side as best I can. Well, actually I can't do that because the phone is in the way, but I'll do, I'll do this and do the same thing on this side. There we go. And that's it. And so now it's immobilized. You know, you see it's not going to go anywhere. And basically you just repeat this step uh, 36 more times. You can see that it's firmly on there. It's not going anywhere, but we're not 100% done yet. If you look in there, <clears throat> you'll see that those solder joints can be improved. And so what I like to do is just apply heat uh, to the cylinder that's left after we cut the pin off and the pad so that it can suck up more, more solder. And occasionally you're going to have to put some more solder in there, but um, this is what I like to do. So I hope you can see this on camera, but so I'll do this and you'll see it flow. You'll see it flow. see there that looks pretty damn good all right this is ready to get plugged in and programmed thank you for watching